Hello guys, welcome to the seventh episode of the Built a Web API in ASP.NET Core 3.1 and consume it using an MVC client also in ASP.NET Core 3.1. I shall be uploading one video every day from Monday to Friday. For viewing the completed application in action with a few of the functionalities, please watch the introduction video part one, which is in a link in the description of this video. So in my previous episode, I walked through the creation of the order model, which together with the customer model are mapped in a one-to-many relationship with the customer entity representing the one and the order entity representing the many side of this relationship. Since we are following the repository pattern in this project, in this episode, I shall create the iCustomer repository interface, which will be implemented by the customer repository later. I shall build the project from scratch and walk you through the code, explaining everything in the process. All the episodes will be in continuation from the previous ones and so is the building of the code base. Hence, it is highly recommended to be up to date with all the previous episodes before this viewing this one. Now, the essential links and the SQL scripts you will find in the video description. I will also request you to view the entire video in all these episodes to get the best out of them. As always, every suggestion and feedback are welcome and please subscribe and share this channel and click the bell notification icon to get the latest uploads. So having said this, let's create the iCustom repository interface. So in here in the models folder, right click again and add a class and name this class i customer repository, i for interface. So I customer repository dot CS. Okay, so instead of class, uh, I will make it interface and file name will still be dot CS extension. Okay, CS means C sharp. All right, so it will have a few members. The first member will be, I mean, to return all the customers it will return an i enumerable of customer object And then the second one is which uh, the second repository interface member will be get customer by ID, which will take an input ID and get the customer by ID and it will return a customer object. So by ID. And it will accept ID as a parameter. Right. So this will I'll make it so data type was int ID and then add customer or insert a customer, add customer. passing a customer object all right i choose the auto suggested member and then a customer type return from the update customer member update customer which also accepts a customer type 
again customer and then a delete customer which returns a void or null. Delete customer nullable integer id can make it non nullable because id is not nullable when it returns a void a null so that's it these are the five members which needs to be implemented in the implementing class which will be customer repository in the next lecture so in this lecture we have successfully created an i customer repository for implementing the repository pattern